good morning wake up wake up wake up wake up this morning it's a beautiful day sun is shining <coughs> vehicles are out look at that just wanted to to savor this moment savor this moment yes 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 savor this moment moments are times that you treasure moments are times that you take in and you also absorb time what is your morning like this morning Look at the skies. Time. Time. this morning as I woke up I had a long sleep that time sometimes uh, I know that I got to get a really good sleep because I'm a worker when I came to this country in 1992 I've worked I've worked my butt off <laughs> I've worked in restaurants I've worked on the road selling toys I've worked you know I've worked every day of my life since I've been in this country working but why do I work because it's a passion to succeed because I'm very ambitious and we all have to be very ambitious so I work but at times sometimes you've got to rest last night I rested I got up this morning and I said to myself uh, <coughs> I'm tired man not tired but uh, I'm lazy and I said I, I committed myself to do this challenge I committed myself to do this 21 day challenge but it is looking more than a 21 day challenge it is looking like the continuing of a lifetime challenge and the challenge was to walk every morning at seven o'clock and I've been diligent to tap myself on my back I've been diligent and do you know why I've been diligent because every time I said or I contemplated whether I should or should not. Something kicks me in and says, you've got to do it. And, I, and, then, and then instantly, there's like a spring in my step. Then I jump. I said to my wife, I'm going for a walk. <laughs> I just have got to move. Because my why is so strong, ladies and gentlemen. My why is so strong that it prevents me from being distracted. My why is so strong that it prevents me from seeing distractions. I say it again. My why is so strong it prevents me from being distracted. My why is so strong it protects me from distractions. So my topic today, this morning, and I tell you this for free, my topic never comes the night before. It comes as I decide to walk. It comes as I purpose in my heart to walk. It comes as I step out, put on my shoes and say, walk. And I say, God, what's the message? What's the word this morning? What's the word to inspire me? Notice what I said? What's the word to inspire me? Because if I'm inspired, then others can be inspired. Ladies and gentlemen, a week ago, myself, Chris Brown, Dr. Bra Dr. Burton, we decided to go on a 21 day challenge for one of my shows. And we put it out there. In the universe, people have joined up. And what it has shown and what it has proven is that people like goals, people like challenges, people like something to work towards. People like to, 
to, to decide what is it that they want to change what is that good habit so we said let's do it a few people came on let's do it Donovan Smart Dr. B Jerry Miller their challenge what is your challenge so I'm encouraging you to embark on a personal challenge for your life for your destiny a challenge that will change and make you into what you weren't before make you what you weren't yesterday if you believe that there's a need for a different you it's got to be a choice that you make but along the way while you do that you're gonna always get into the reservoir of your soul and into why am I doing this you're gonna be distracted along the process as to why I'm doing this you're gonna see distractions coming left right and center why I'm doing this but that why as to why you're doing this it has got to be so strong and so fervent that the now factor of that why will make that fundamental difference and I'm speaking to you this beautiful morning lovely morning awesome morning and as you roll out of your bed for you to say am I or to ask yourself this question am I distracted am I distracted and I've got to ask myself am I distracted as well you know many a goals a man have and during the course of that time he's distracted you know I do look and I do consider even what is happening in Minnesota at this moment I do look and I do consider what is going on in Minneapolis at this moment with the death of Mr. George Floyd which I have contributed to my solidarity and my program to make my voice heard that it was blatant murder against a human being against a black man but at the same time as one of my guests pointed out and the guest said we've got to be very careful that we are not distracted in the process we can't keep going around in circles wanting the same wanting to see the difference by doing the same thing and when I look at the destruction of a city or of a town or of a neighborhood I ask myself this question is there a distraction now I'm not going to give the answer and say it was a distraction or not or that it was necessary for the for the damage and the destruction of a town of a city of a state but I'm going to say one has got to ponder and one has got to think is this a distraction distractions destroy distractions um, turn around distraction uh, change goals messed up goals distractions are there <clears throat> to take you off your path the journey that you are destined predestined to and you've got to see these distractions as they come and many a distractions I think coronavirus is <clears throat> and was a distraction many people goals dreams pathway has been thwarted I see the Dominic Cummings witch hunt or whatever a distraction anything that takes you off your course anything that takes you off your um, pattern and ways of doing things is a distraction and today this morning I challenge you again to seek out myself as well what is my distraction what is your distraction are you distracted are you looking to the left and looking to the right and not that focus where is thy distraction oh where is thy distraction so this morning as we embark on another day another successful day another journey not the end of the week if we say the end of the week that's a distraction 
Because when you say the end of the week, you start to relax, you start to uh, you start to chill, you start to um, take off your guards, you start to relax. No, no, no. <clears throat> it's not the time to relax. No more relaxation. It's time to work. And that work starts from the mind. That work starts from the mindset. That work starts from the get-go. That work starts from because you got the why. That work starts because you know you've got to be successful. Not just today, but every day. But for tomorrow, the fierce urgency of now. Now is the time. I've got to challenge myself. I'm not just challenging whosoever is listening to this. I'm challenging myself this morning. And the more I speak these words, the more the words become me. The word becomes life in me. And when the word becomes life in me, then the word becomes life in somebody else. Because the why, the distraction is thwarted. The distraction is destroyed. The distraction is no more. So when you embark upon a challenge, you are gonna find the distractions come in every aspect, but you've got to persevere. You've got to do it. You've got to keep on. You've got to keep on pushing. Pushing, pushing against the grain, pushing against the mold, push against the obstacles, push against the opposition. This morning, someone came onto my page and said, I see you are posting these videos. And I'm saying, how dare can someone challenge my thinking, challenge what I do? That's a distraction. That's a distraction. You're going to see distractions come, but you've got to shoot it bang 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 shoot it so to challenge for today the word for today is your distraction should be shot <laughs> you know what I mean not literally when you count and a monster to, to go after your friends and say you are a distraction still burn say you should be shot no 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 distractions should be thwarted but you've got to recognize so start today think about what is your distraction look at it look to see what takes you off course look to see what is it that annoys you look to see what is it that gives you a level of annoyance look to see who is that person there you yes yes they come in person but you've got to see the persons also as vehicles for the enemy we wrestle not against flesh and blood ladies and gentlemen we wrestle against principalities and powers okay so let's get it right let's get it straight but you've got to recognize distractions 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 they are there to distract you from the course and from the pattern and from where you want to go and your journey and your passion and your goals and your vision ladies and gentlemen and Silburn, have a smashing day God bless you. May his face shine upon you and may give you peace this morning, this beautiful morning where there shall be no more distraction in your life, no more distraction anywhere, and you shall be going safe for you. But I'm telling you this now, they will come. They will come. The distractions will come. But the important and the intelligence and the wisdom of God and the um, sensitivity is that you see it as it come and you'll be able to thwart it and go forward with your dreams, with your goals, with your passion. Do not be distracted. And I encourage you to join the 21 day challenge. And that 21 day challenge starts with you. You don't have to report to me, Coach Chris Brown or anyone, but it starts with you. And that is for you today, today, today. Start now. Send a video if you can. Be free to show that you did. But I want to inspire you to do it.